Guys are... We love women a lot. Like all men do. And we just look at you. That's what I do. I just look at women. I just... <sighs> like they're, you know, cakes and windows. I just... <sighs> I was walking in New York once, and there's these two very cute women walking behind me, and I was trying to walk slowly so I could hear what they were saying to each other, you know, because they were cute. So I wanted to hear them, like, that's gonna help me in any way to hear them. <laughs> Don't you wish the guy walking in front of us would squeeze our tits for like one second? <laughs> that we would all do that. There's, if you're a woman, you could ask any guy on planet Earth, can you squeeze my head for one second? And 100% of us will go, oh yes, of course. That doesn't matter. I could be doing open heart surgery. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, don't worry, he's not your tits. Don't worry about it. I don't know why we love tits so much. Some people say it's because we breastfeed, but so do women. Or, you know, baby women. <laughs> Growing up women don't usually. You don't see like a 68 year old woman, like a stately look, you know, like Sigourney Weaver, like sucking milk out of a young woman's tit. Thank you, Deborah. I'll see you tomorrow, two o'clock. It's not usually the thing, is the elderly breastfeeding from the young. Um, except for at the end of The Grapes of Wrath, uh, which I don't mean to ruin that book for you, but you should have read it by now. I don't know if you, if you read The Grapes of Wrath, but that's how it ends, with an old dying man sucking milk out of a young girl's tit, and then the book is over. And you're like, Jesus, what happened? At the end there, that's crazy. There's no other book in that genre. There's no dense, historic classic that ends with a weird, porny paragraph at the very... And then Anna Karenina shat on his chest. Holy moly with that! The end. Oh my god! That is a violent shift in tone at the end of that book. I've been reading this book for three months. But we do, we love tits. And you always know a tit. You always know a tit. You know, like you ever been in a crowded place, like a subway or a, like a... You know, a, a, a sports stadium, you're smooshed in with other people, and your, your elbow touches a tit behind you, like, that's a tit! I just touched it! I know that was a tit! I know it! Because the sensitivity of the male elbow to tit flesh specifically is unbelievable. Just a tits, because you could drive a tack in there, I'm not gonna feel it. But a tit? through a shirt and a sweater and a jacket. <laughs> and her jacket, sweater, shirt, and bra. Somehow, I said tit, I touched a tit. I touched a tit. I, mm, I touched one tit. One tit. That's rare to touch one tit. It's like a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Usually you touch it. The only time you touch one tit is when it was an accident or you didn't have permission. <laughs> but otherwise, when tit access is granted, it's usually good for two tits at a time. <laughs> it's, once you're on one, it's, you really have to screw up really badly and quickly to lose tit access between tits one and two. <laughs> have said something really dumb on the first tip that she didn't get the second one. 
No, yeah, it's like your mom's dirty whore tip. What? What? I said I liked it. That's what I meant, is that I like it. I like your mom's dirty whore tip. I like yours. And if it's up to the guy, we're gonna touch both tits. No guy touches a tit and then goes, you know what, I'm good with the one. That's fine for me. Everything in moderation. We're gonna touch both. If the guy, if it's, even if something terrible happens in the middle of, ah, oh, yeah, there's a bomb! Oh shit, come on, let's get, come on! Let's get your tits out of here.